Welcome back to the YouTube channel. My name's Chris. I'm a videographer, photographer, and YouTuber. I make all sorts of videos from product reviews to demos to how to's to just me sat here talking to you guys about my experiences. If this video helps you out, I would really appreciate a sub. And what are we going to be doing in today's video? We're going to be turning the GoPro Hero 8 into a webcam. So why am I making this video? A lot of people have commented on this video asking whether the same could be done with the GoPro 8. And I didn't own a GoPro 8, so I didn't know whether it could be done, but I went out and bought one to do some testing. And the good news is it can be done. The bad news is, is it has to be over the wireless connection. You can't do it with the USB connection, which does introduce about a second's worth of latency. So what are you gonna to need to turn your GoPro into a webcam? You're gonna need a GoPro, a phone and a computer. You don't need a capture card, you don't need anything special, just the GoPro, the phone, the computer. I do have to mention that one of the pieces of software I'm gonna be showing you today is a paid app. Um, they do give you a free 10 day trial. So if you wanna try it out, if you wanna just see whether it works before you buy it, or you wanna use it as a one-time solution, then this will work fine for you. If you wanna use it long-term, then you're gonna to have to buy the app and it does cost $80, but I think that's pretty good value. Let's jump onto the computer and I'll talk you through how to get it up and running. The first thing you're going to need to do is download some software. This is OBS Studio. If you don't know what it is, there are many, many videos on YouTube about it, so go and check it out. The second thing you're going to need is OBS Virtual Cam. This is a plugin that basically allows you to take any feed from OBS and send it to things like Zoom, Skype, Google Hangouts, Discord, Facebook Messenger, Facebook Live, anything you want, you can pump it from OBS into one of those programs. And the last thing you're going to need is GoPro to OBS. This is the software that I said is paid, um, but there is a free trial of it. So you just want to scroll down and click download or order now if you want to buy it straight away. If you click order now, then you can see the price is $80. So once you've downloaded all of those things, I want you to open up GoPro to OBS. As you can see, I've got six days left of my trial. So I'm just going to press continue trial. The important thing about this app is this address just here. This will be unique to everybody, so your address won't be the same as mine. Just make sure you go up and press the on button, otherwise this won't work. And then you want to turn your GoPro on and open up the GoPro app on either your Android or your iOS device. And then click control your GoPro. And there you can see I've got a live view of what my GoPro is displaying. It's displaying my Lumetric clock, which says I've got 3,380 subscribers. If you want to change that number, then feel free to hit that subscribe button right now. So we're going to scroll across until we get to set up live. At the bottom, there's a button that says RTMP. Um, yours might start off on Facebook or YouTube. So just make sure you've got RTMP selected and then press set up live. This might take 30 seconds or so to start. And then at the top, just join your Wi-Fi network. And where it says enter your RTMP URL, that's this number right here. So just pop that in that box there. So RTMP colon forward slash forward slash 192.168.0.0. Dot 20 and then after that you need to add app forward slash live and then resolution I keep mine at 720 because the lower the resolution the lower the latency you're going to get and if you save a copy to your SD card again this will increase the latency so I haven't selected that and then just press set up live stream and then go live and now on the GoPro to OBS app, you can see you've got a resolution and a frame rate and your buffer. If you press preview, then you can see this is what my GoPro is say seeing. If I turn it round, you can see me. Hello, I'm gonna put you back down there for a minute. So now we've got our GoPro set up and streaming to our computer. Like I said, there is one to two seconds worth of latency, but I don't think that's a massive problem because with this method, you can actually stream the audio as well. So you could genuinely use this as just a wireless webcam and you can plug it into the main so that you can power the camera and you never have to worry about it. So the next step is in OBS, but before you open it up, make sure you install virtual cam and then you wanna go down to this plus button under sources, go to video capture device, 
press OK and then change the device to GoPro to OBS and then you can stretch that out to make it fill the screen if you want to or you can make it down in the corner you can do pretty much anything you want if you go up to tools you should see virtual cam under tools and this is the program that sends it from OBS to programs like Skype or Hangouts or Discord or Zoom or anything like that. I like to click auto start because then every time I open up OBS, this is running and that's about it. So now our GoPro should stream to other programs. So let's just give you a little example. So I've just set up a Zoom call. This is the worst quality camera in the world. It's a Logitech webcam that I bought from Tesco's for about 20 pounds. If I go down here and click this little arrow, I can then change that to either GoPro to OBS, but that won't work in here. But if I press this arrow again and do OBS camera, and then you have to press the start video button, it does work. So now I've got a camera which I can move around, pick it up, and the audio will be transmitted as well from the GoPro, but obviously I'm using an external mic, so there is a delay. If you use the inbuilt microphone on the GoPro, then the audio and the video should sync perfectly. Okay, so you can see that it works in a Zoom call. Let's try Skype. Okay, so we've got Skype open. You just need to go to these three little dots up here and then go to settings and then go to audio and video. And then as you can see, mine's already detected because I've used this before, but you just wanna select OBS camera up here. In this application, you don't get GoPro to OBS. Some applications it shows up, some applications it doesn't, but it doesn't work on any of them. You need to use this OBS camera plugin from Virtual Cam. Okay, so now we're in Google Hangouts. I'm just gonna call it GoPro test. And then as you can see again, it's just picked it up straight away. If it doesn't pick it up straight away, go to settings and then go to video and then you just need to select OBS camera. Um, and just one other thing I'm gonna mention on here, as you can see there, it says OBS camera or OBS camera two or OBS camera three. When you're in OBS, and you go back to tools and virtual cam. You have multiple cameras, so OBS camera, OBS camera two, and this relates to which camera you're sending. So if I change this to OBS camera two and press start, and then go back to Google Hangouts, we've lost our feed. If you go to settings again and video and change this to OBS camera two, we get our feed straight back. So that's it guys, that's how you turn a GoPro 8 into a webcam. I really hope this video helped you out. If you liked the video, please like the video and subscribe so you never miss another episode. And if it really, really helped you out, like it's the best video you've ever seen on YouTube, it's changing your life, then please consider pledging to me on Patreon. I went out and bought this GoPro 8 with my own money, it was about £330 and I'm probably never going to see that £330 again just so I could make this video for you guys. So if you liked it, if it helped you, then please consider pledging on Patreon. You can pledge for as little as $5 a month and it'll help me make more videos like this for you. Thank you for watching and I will see you again very soon.